um, Carolina Marina Sports Palace in Huelva, uh, in the uh, southernmost part of um, Spain, close to uh, the border of uh, Portugal. We are on day two of um, action here at the uh, World Championships Court 2 coverage and uh, we turn our attention to the men's singles uh, where we're going to find the uh, opponent for home favorite Luis Enrique Penal who won his match earlier on uh, today against uh, Luis Navarro from uh, Mexico. We're going to watch the match between Brice Levadez, the experienced Frenchman up against uh, the 11th seeded Dane Rasmus Gemke. Here is um, Levarez. And Rasmus Gemke. Gemke who uh, withdrew after one rally at the uh, World Tour Finals two weeks ago in uh, Bali. With um, a knee injury and uh, just managed to check when he entered the court that he started um, strapping on his uh, right knee there jumper's knee that's been uh, bothering him and as you can see uh, it's Brice Levadez who's uh, black one nil up in the uh, head to head black, black for you okay. black from a uh, French black. Open but um, I think serve Asmus Kimke okay. has um, you serve okay thank you developed a lot since then and Brice uh, Levadez has become some years older, well they both have, but um, Levadez now 35 years of age. And uh, depending on the uh, severity of the uh, knee injury to Gemke, I could see him as um, a small favorite in this match, but one of the uh, tough first round draws for the day. No doubt about it, Brice Levadez, perhaps best known for uh, twice knocking uh, Lee Chung Wei out of a uh, World Championship uh, tournament. Very much an up and down player, Brice Levadez here in the picture. Sometimes he plays magnificently, other times quite the opposite. He's Fallen a bit from his uh, previous uh, highest rank of 19th in the world, and he's uh, 37th. He's born in Cahen uh, Coulomb, now lives in uh, Saint Laurent de Foss in France. Participated uh, at three Olympic Games London, Rio, and uh, Tokyo, as we see the profile for Rasmus Gimke. Currently at his uh, highest rank, and both are born in uh, Vibu in uh, Denmark, suburb of uh, Aarhus, where he started playing badminton alongside uh, Anas Antonsen. Antonsen, who prevented Genke from winning his uh, biggest title ever when he finished runner up at the uh, 2020 Denmark me. Open. Euro service judge Manuel Gabotzile. And um, the umpire is um, Fabio Lopez from uh, Brazil. What's it? It's from uh, Botswana. It's only about this is uh, best results. Yes, in my opinion, he's um, silver. European Games back in uh, 2019 when he lost to Anna Anton and he's also got a bronze medal from the European Championship in 2018 when he lost to uh, Victor Axelsen. Gemke's best results apart from finishing runner-up in uh, Denmark Ladies over as I mentioned oh is um, a win in um, Spain Masters and it was uh, staged in uh, Barcelona that was uh, back in 2018 
So match is underway and uh, Demica keeps that lift one, inside one. the line. He's playing with a little bit of uh, drift alongside the court. This Gimke whilst Levadeus is playing up against it, of course. Also slight sideways drift right to uh, left. What's going on? Two, long. Very patient from the back line Four. there. Long. You see, he's no longer the uh, highest ranked Frenchman singles player, and that um, has been uh, claimed by Thomas Junior Popov, who um, has withdrawn from this uh, World Championship tournament together with his uh, kid brother Crystal, who he played the men's doubles with and um, that is uh, due to their Observer. coach and father Thomas Popov Senior who tested positive for uh, coronavirus and uh, they would have to uh, practice and uh, eat separately from all the other players if uh, they were to continue in the tournament and instead they chose to uh, withdraw and uh, go home to France. Both of the two brothers tested negative, but uh, since they've of course been close contacts to four. their father and coach, they chose to uh, leave the tournament. Play. satisfied with his um, results at the Indonesia Badminton Festival first tournament um, he beat Toma Popov in the second round after Lisi Jar retired against the Dane in the first round and then eventually lost out to Kento Momota in the, the quarterfinal following tournament he reached the semi-final and lost to Lo Ping Yu Probably blocked by uh, the injury uh, already by then. Had a couple of uh, tough matches in the first and the uh, first round in the quarterfinal of that uh, tournament. Luis Levades did not play the Bali tournaments. His last action was in a uh, high level open where he lost the first round to Uncalon. So far, Skemke looking uh, good, but Seven, um, I sense that he's 
sort of uh, trying to protect his um, right knee. Oh, that's a great shot. Straight Eight. slice there from the backhand side. Two. Not a whole lot of court to work with, but if you can manage the shot, that's one of those that are really tough to cover. Oh, excellent follow up. By uh, Lillibes. Three, eight. Ten. saying that I felt that Kim had felt the court nicely Four, here in the uh, game eight. of the first game. I still think he has, but uh, just gave it a little bit too much there. And the danger for the Dane is that uh, he sort of uh, puts too much into the 8-3 uh, lead. I don't think he can afford to do that. Um, that's not going to bother the beast of a day a lot. Uh, he's just Five. going to... Eight. Look for his best game where he's constantly attacking and controlling, playing a lot of um, front court to the day. So that five point cushion could easily be gone if um, he gets too uh, relaxed. Game could. Good defense there. It's a really, really good rally, but also very important. Good play there by Brice Levadez. It's so important, I think, for the Frenchman that he can win those uh, rallies where both players Six, try to play uh, eight. patient. That would put a lot of pressure mentally on uh, Rasmus Gimke. Also, perhaps, knowing that um, there is some limitations as to how many uh, steps his uh, right knee can um, manage before it starts um, hurting too much might be well more than one match but of course you're not only looking to win one match when you're in the world championship short from uh, Gimke there. This could easily mean that he's had to um, apply a much more uh, patient playing style than he normally would. I wonder if he's capable of uh, making these change of paces, injection of pace when he's attacking and uh, trying to follow up. That's well played. Ten, six. Eleven. 
Så Asmus so, Gimke is uh, in the lead as this uh, between the leg turn from uh, Chris Levades is unsuccessful. Gimke in the lead, 11-6 here at the mid game in tour. changed so basically going the way the Danes had anticipated also in terms of uh, the sober seven conditions ahead. eleven Let's hit the top of the tape the shot from uh, the Vedes there and uh, provoking an air shot from uh, Gimke Gimke. Sends over. 13, 10. Good shot. Sliced it a little bit. Made it uh, stop over. a little bit in front 11, of uh, Gimke. And that's that can oftentimes be more difficult covering than just uh, having to go straight to one of the sides. It's 
a very important um, phase of um, the match, I feel. Players fighting to uh, gain the momentum. Will Brees uh, be able to close that uh, five-point cushion from 8-3, or will Gimke eventually be able to uh, stamp his mark on this first game here? It's a sign that he was unsatisfied 14, with himself there. 11. At least though it is. I don't know if we got it on the screen. But, um, yeah, there it is. Telling himself off a little bit. That can be dangerous. Got to uh, stay positive. Let's go wide. And a bit of shake of head with the French fan. 15, again. 11. Signs that the uh, Genke might be capable of uh, pulling away here and uh, securing the first game. touch the net with his racket but um, in all fairness it was very difficult to see in replay as well nothing forward so got to play on in the last three rallies here and then this one where the string is gone and the racket of Brice Livadeus' racket, they've been... Oh, that actually came over. I thought it stayed on his side. Wow, what a lucky shot. So that was just what he needed because he was about to uh, dig himself into a hole, I felt, uh, Brice Livadeus there. Play by uh, Rasmus Kimke with a broken string. And sober, 17, Very 12. Well, from the front court below the tape, sometimes lifting, sometimes playing back at the uh, waistline. Oh. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's the uh, Frenchman from uh, reading any pattern in. Uh, Dane's game. placement there to the uh, right hip or shoulder of um, Luis Livades. Six of the last seven points today. Ten over. Thirteen. Nineteen. That's a good uh, 
attacked by uh, Livadis. even wide of the uh, left double line there and then now 13. seven game points for Rasmus Kimke who was uh, tougher than they were days there at 10-12, uh, 11-13 Thank as well. Game. So first time I'm asking first game was the first game 13. Cartoon, 20 seconds. Cartoon, 20 seconds. to live a day is that hey everything's closed on uh, this side of the court here So I have the 
feeling that if Genki is able to establish a cushion of similar size to uh, the first game, then he will be able to uh, get through this uh, match fairly um, comfortable. Four, one. He's got one of the uh, Harder smashes on the tour, in my opinion, uh, Asmus Genke. Not necessarily his preferred playing conditions here. I think he would like a bit more drifty and uh, faster playing conditions. Five, one. But after a 2021 year that's been a little bit tough on the Dane, losing out on a medal at the Europeans, then he uh, seemed to find form in uh, Bali. Yeah, that was a loose net shot from the Dane. Gave some opportunities to uh, Devades and he said uh, thank you very much. Two, that one, five. good pressure. Set himself up for the like cross smash there. Look good with the movement of uh, Fleece Devades. Seems like uh, he's got difficulties uh, launching on uh, his right leg. Three, 
Going sharp for some points would have been, would have been a possibility if, um, if it was um, the third game or whatever it is. If a game up, it's, it seems highly unlikely that it will be able to uh, come back here and, uh, and win the next two games. But let's see. That was a good follow up there, and it was exactly the situation the Danes discussed that. If you can, can get it a little bit um, closer to the net, but but longer into the court, then it's more difficult for the it is to to um, follow up. It's over. And this is 13, what I think we're going to see four. more and more um, uh, going for the one-hit wonders, the sharp play, good deception there. It's over. 5, 13. He's not looking to play long rallies now. Where's the other day, Could not imagine that. Second 
taking it off the top of the tape. That could have been dangerous, but um, got away with it. Uh, Gemke, 33 shot that rally. Long. And over six fifteen. His chance of uh, killing it at the net, the uh, police liver days, and uh, eventually that cost him the rally. who uh, can take some confidence 18, away from uh, this game here and into the next round in my opinion. It, I know that it um, turns out that Livadev is uh, injury to his right leg was more severe than um, Gemkis but I think Gemkis found the court well. Oi. That seemed to hurt a little bit. A long lunge there. Seven. 18. Yeah. 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 Securing a uh, second round entry. Thirteen match points now for the day. Twenty match point. And we'll seven. Face, um, kick it, Penalva from uh, Spain in the uh, second round. Wednesday. And there it is. Yeah. First time of asking. Convincing win to Lasso uh, Skimke. Reese Lever is not Red able to uh, 21, 13, play to 21, uh, 7. 100% of his uh, performance, in my opinion. But. Um, Close match up to 13-11 uh, in the first game, and then Gimku managed to uh, pull away and uh, finish the match on a, a positive note from the Danes' perspective. Here is the uh, winning rally, the winning situation. Calm and collected to follow up from uh, the Dane, and. Uh, Fist pump from Brice uh, Levades. So uh, here is confirmation of the score in uh, 39 minutes 21 13, 21 7. And uh, 
coming up next here on uh, court two is um, another men's singles, Jason Anthony Hoshu from Canada up against one of the favorites here in Huelva, Li Xicha from Malaysia. That's after the uh, highlights from this men's singles with uh, the winner in the picture, Rasmus Gilke. and also to Paul Hand earlier, who have been live here throughout the day. We're at the Palacio de las Deportes, better known as the Carolina Marin Arena, the live action of the 2021 Total Energy BWF World Championships. Day two here.